Today's episode of Professor Oddfellow's Penetralia is brought to you by the Hand Dragon. You'll flip, and our peaches, a curse hope, and the pie in the sky, it's ganache. Oh, it's time for the mailbag. Jesse of Nothing Arizona asks, why combine grandfather clocks and pianos into their own genre of sonic design? That's a sound question. As the miscellanist Mr. Jonathan has noted, of all the common furnishings of recreational and artistic dabbling that are massively big and heavy and frivolous, pound for pound and inch for inch, grandfather clocks and pianos are tied for silliest. One can tell time and make music with vastly smaller instruments. But the difference between a little featureless mantel clock and an imposing grandfather clock, and between a compact spinet and a grand piano, is something visceral, deep-rooted, subjective, unconscious, and perhaps even autonomic. And the difference is also something funny, which is why comedians like Laurel and Hardy fashioned entire sequences around grandfather clocks and pianos. As in Ravel's opera, L'Heure Espagnole, the cabinet of a grandfather clock offers a place of refuge, just as a grand piano does in Jack Benny's film, College Holiday. As if discovering the only exit of an inescapable corridor, we can crawl inside the world of a grandfather clock or a grand piano. We can interpenetrate and when, from within, we exploit arcane methods to further merge the clockwork and the pianistic mechanisms, we find ourselves musically notating time signatures with our clock hands. We can melodically speed and slow the temporal flow, and perhaps even reverse it, though playing backwards requires such finesse. It's paradoxical, but the big, heavy, frivolous instrumentation is what facilitates rising into a light, timeless realm. To further fine-tune into those ethers, we add a Nikola Tesla spirit radio, a crystal technology that is spookily non-powered and that offers otherworldly atmospheric musical compliments. We always ask listeners to be mindful of temporal anomalies that occur while listening to our music. For example, does a stopped clock or wristwatch begin ticking while you listen? Or does a reliable timepiece suddenly freeze up? Does time fly? Is there a sense of timelessness along the way? A recovered memory of life in Atlantis or Lemuria? We remain curious in both senses of the word.